Hey, what's going on, everybody? Escorted up from hell by Satan himself. I'm Kelly, and this is the Crucible Radio Hot Wing Challenge. Not the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Crucible. Yeah, we got that space magic. Y'all already know the words. Let's turn up and make magic. Crucible Radio got that new kind of space magic. There's a rising storm. Better make sure that you're ready to grab it. Join with us today are the hosts of Crucible Radio, Birds, Swain, and Bones. All right, thanks for being here, boys. How are we feeling tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying yeah. to not think about it at all. <laughs> yep. And then I had to think about it when I was making How are you guys with spicy foods? You guys go first. <laughs> <laughs> I think I do fine with certain things. I, I think I'll be fine tonight. I don't want to get the hiccups. I think if I don't get the hiccups, I'll be fine. If I, I do get the hiccups, hiccups I'm already freaked out about getting the hiccups. If I do, it's gonna be... It's a sign of weakness, for sure. Yeah, everyone's gonna make fun of me on the internet. Yeah, yeah. I like spice, but I'm very scared of just like how much snot will be coming out of my face. But if it's hurting my mouth, then so what, what, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I'm a naturally sweaty guy already, so I mean, this won't even change. Can we get the lights up in here? Well, are you guys ready to get started with these questions? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. All right, let's yeah. go. Do we, we have to eat a wing? Yes. This is the... Uh, Howler Monkey, uh, original. Original? Oh, okay. yeah. Made out of real monkey. Ready for question one? Oh, oh, sorry, two. Those are good wings. Yeah. yeah, wow. This actually comes from patron Britons for one. What is your most memorable game from your childhood? Mm. I think I would have to say just like Mario's, just in terms of number of hours logged, all those stars, and coins. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms. <laughs> Those are all the themes of your life. Mushrooms, Mushrooms stars, stars. <laughs> coins, and coins. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, and oh, your man, friend I'm... named Toad. Because I was more of a Sega household. It's kind of like the only. I, I would like go to Blockbuster and rent games, but like sure. this is the one I owned. I had an N64 first, but I was like terrible at all those games. Like I was very bad at video games as a kid. I think the first time I got super, super serious about something was Pokemon Gold. It was great, yeah. it changed my life, but we, we got really heated my mom took away our Game Boys for like, months. I just no. wanna say that I forgot to do something, which is put on Chapstick before oh. this starts. Yeah, it's too late. Uh, well, I'll seal in the Howler You're Monkey. You're gonna seal in the Howler Monkey! And protect myself from what lies ahead. So, the okay. second one is Formosa, and this yeah. is uh, courtesy of Holtzman. Holtzman recommended this one. This yeah. is good. Good sauce. It's the largest bottle as well. Yeah. It's, yeah. I wish it was a sizable like amount. You know it's it's quality. This is also from a patron, uh, Okachi, I hope I'm pronouncing that mm -hmm. right, 815. Mm -hmm. Outside of anything to do with gaming, what is the single most fun moment or experience you've had in your life? Did it fundamentally mm. change you? And if so, in what way? I think sports memories, which seems super cliche, but <laughs> like just had that hero moment playing baseball in sophomore year of high school that I'll probably never forget and be proud of forever. We talk about flow state on the podcast. Mm -hmm. The feeling of like flow in sports is incredible. It translates pretty well. To, yeah. Uh, I went to compete in the Messenger World Championships. It was in Tokyo and we had like a week of time there and we were riding our bikes around Tokyo with like a bunch of other bike messengers from all over the world. Competitive for sure. Um, and traveling, it was not, it was more so about seeing and experiencing exotic things than just being fully immersed in the moment. I guess two years ago, for my birthday party, I just, I said I wanted like a kid's birthday party, like a, a children's birthday party, and so uh, we went to a big like indoor trampoline place and we jumped around on the trampolines. I did a, I did a flip into the phone. <laughs> we, yeah, no big deal. After that, we went to uh, a pizza place and had a pizza party. They got me a Nerf gun and I shot it in the restaurant. And, um, <laughs> made me realize that you can still enjoy the simple pleasures yeah. as an adult. And that you should have fun on your birthday. All right, so we're coming up on wing three. Mm. How are you guys feeling? Both of these are really tasty. Yeah. They're, they're in my mouth and it's hot, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, I would eat this. No pain, no discomfort. No, I just have this like nice warm part. Yeah. Okay, so for wing number three. This is uh, secret, secret aardvark. Yeah. Habanero hot sauce. The ladies of Crucible Radio uh, have 
we did a little deep dive on some social media. One of each of you, and we just want you to explain what's going on mm, in okay. each photo. That's a really original idea. Yeah, I came up with it myself. <laughs> All right, That's so Swain me. is the first photo, yeah. Um, you can wing one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let me. You can well, you just talk. Like, yeah, that's your talking wing. So, this is uh, when the Pope came to Philadelphia. The Pope came to your restaurant? No, no. Mm. I wish. That would have meant we would have had business that weekend. <laughs> For Philly, everybody expected it to be like this big boom in, in business for the weekend or whatever. It turns out everyone had a terrible time. Uh, I was sitting on the couch and I used a piece of parchment paper to create a Pope hat. You made that yourself? I did make wow. that myself. <laughs> that was a really good wing, so I kept eating it because the chicken was solid. Mm -hmm. And I feel that sauce like app as soon as I put it down. It's not bad, but it's... Yeah, like you're feeling we're so starting bad. to get there. It's we're a good a taste threshold. while you're eating it. Like mm -hmm. really yummy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, <laughs> so this was a, a Halloween party. That kind of looks like Doctor Strange. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I'll, I'll take that. Um, it was a different time, okay? <laughs> um, so was the facial hair shaved for this evening? Yeah, I was not, I was okay. not, I've never actually, I've never worn any facial hair in the public except uh, stubble or no stubble. Yeah, I really carved my facial hair into yeah. something. Terrible. Unimpressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Fine time in just a second. Did you just pull a loaf of bread out? <laughs> Sourdough, to be exact. Crap. Crap. <laughs> mm. So this was on Halloween. Um, we so went fast. as door to door Mormons. That's my friend, Moran Green. Greeny is the guy that edits our montages. So he's the guy that actually makes me look like a good Destiny player. Mm -hmm. He's probably editing this right now. He's probably adding a voiceover yeah. to this segment. <laughs> he's, right. all, he's having a field day with here. Oh, hey, it's Greeny. I'm actually going to talk over Bones right here, and now I'm going to let birds talk. Greeny, could you make a, a little ding go next to your face that says <laughs> Greeny and a little arrow when I snap my fingers like... Why, yes. Yes, I can. Yeah, so the two things I don't remember about this night, but was told about this <laughs> night. I had previously mentioned I'm a fan of Pokemon. My friend Travis at a party said, there is this great Pokemon costume over there or something like that. And I said, Travis, I don't give a shit right now. I'm I'm sharing the word of God. And then the other thing I don't remember happening is that I ate a page out of the actual book of Mormon. <laughs> so Mormons, I apologize, but uh, I swallowed it. It went down. Okay, so going into question number four, I kind of want to touch on the jump that's happening in uh, the Scoville reading here. Yeah, those first three were really pleasant. Yeah, they're, they're just tasty good. wings. I think yeah. it's also more of like what we can get. This. <laughs> this is small axe peppers habanero mango. According to the loose numbers I was able to, able to find, we barely passed the 5,000 mark until now. This one jumps up to the 25,000 okay. range. That's good. Talking scope, Let's eat some spicy wings. So this one gets slightly heavier. Because of the drastic change in how Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 was received, <laughs> How would you say your role in the community has changed because of that? Okay, you're starting to get spicy. Um, <laughs> do I keep up. going? Do yeah. I eat it all? Eat the whole yeah. We really liked this game, and we played it, and then they released a sequel, and it was different, and a lot of people didn't like it. And it was definitely different, but, you know, we liked it pretty good, and we kept playing it, and then people didn't like that we liked it. Well, some people liked that we liked it, and then um, it got better, and um, people started liking it again, mm -hmm. and then maybe they started liking us again. We've somehow been dislikable over all four years of Destiny. <laughs> <laughs> Destiny 2 came out, it fit us a lot better as like more casual gamers. Because we were so casual, we fit what they were going for a hell of a lot better than most people yeah. that create content for this game. That's true. And then we were like the laser focus for people that were upset. Like, especially after the Bungie interview, during D2 launched, like, three months after. You felt like we really held feet to the fire? Because people love it when you hold feet uh, to the fire. Yeah, I mean, like, no, no one's ever in the interview situation where you're interviewing someone who made something you really care about. There was some fair criticism that was, like, you know, they gave a softball answer and you didn't follow up on it. And, like, a lot of the time that's, like... Look, there's things that we ask, and it's just like, sorry, we can't talk about that, right? And you know, we have to edit that out. Yeah, you don't hear that part of it. There's like a fundamental question that people wanted answered then, which is like, why don't I have this thing that I actually want? Why don't I yeah. have that? And there's no question we can ask 
that will that will change that. Especially the person who's in the interview can't answer that most questions. Like, like most yeah, times, would not like, be allowed. Yeah, they 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 don't want to trust someone with that like that sort of like focus. Yeah, I mean, that. you're interviewing a developer. I I guess I would just say to people in in that situation, probably not going to see this because it's for Patreon. But yeah, they you actually like us. We feed off of that. <laughs> Send your hate our way. We love it. Well, honestly, you can't hurt my feelings. The question was like, how did, did it change how yeah, we? Yeah, did it change your how we like, play or what we within, do within the community? If our show had a sort of like a fate to it, is that we were going to take that road of like, play to win, don't complain. You can't change the game, so if you're playing it, you know, use yeah, what you have, that kind of thing. Which sort of like applies directly to the whole other side of like make Destiny good, or however you want it to change. Yeah. If we're sticking to our show topic, it means we automatically, by definition, won't get into those like less favor or savory territories yeah. by nature. So I think that just sort of like carved our path for us once we really decided around episode 30 or whatever. No one wants to hear that, though, when you try and like, change things. True. Yeah. So we, we just had to stick to our show and say, like, here's the only way to get better, which is playing to win and like not being a scrub. So No screams. Oh, right, okay, so my tongue hurts. Wing number five. Yeah, don't shy away, Bonzi. Oh, punish yourself for no. us. No! This is uh, Zombie Apocalypse, the torch... Torchbearer zombies? Oh, I can smell this. this. <laughs> Ghost chili. Yeah. Habanero. There's carrots in here. Oh, good. Yeah. I'm gonna need those carrots. Oh, this one's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> you got a question for us? Yeah, so question number five. And I want ears. you guys, what were your real first impressions of each other? <laughs> After you've spoken, you got to know each other a little bit, what were the first impressions? That's a funny question. <laughs> oh. Because I think at this point in your relationship, you guys can you guys can be honest. You guys know, honest yeah. Oh wow. Don't get the hiccups. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's happening. Oh, oh. It's oh, just, it just, it's like, it's getting hotter as it sits mm -hmm. in my mouth. I remember the first time we played together. Um, it was all right. I felt like I didn't play well and I didn't impress you guys with my KD. Did um, the chapstick work? Yeah, 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 but my tongue, ow. Um, some of my first impressions was like, um, please let me talk sometimes. Um, you guys love talking. <laughs> you guys love talking. Oh, that's true. Not right now, though. Oh, we really wrapped that one up. <laughs> yeah. Oh! I remember the very first time we recorded together. This was, was episode playing. zero. I was PlayStation. Yeah, you, you had your controller <laughs> out, and I heard that clacking. And I remember thinking, is this motherfucker playing, playing Destiny right now? And then, um, then I asked, and he was. Oh, shit, Kevin, careful my eyes. Yeah, yeah, careful your ass. I haven't touched anything with his hand, so. I remember oh, I shit, with your hand. <laughs> Is this something you heard or just something you need? Uh, both. Uh, so, yeah, we played together. We all know that story. But I stalked both of them on Facebook. And Swain, your profile picture was you in chainmail holding two swords up. Oh, like, yeah. But he wasn't cool, Swain, yet. It was just his pro profile photo with none of the other info, so he just looked like the biggest nerd I'd ever seen. We went to Bungie and we met each other in person for the first time. And we came into view and we saw him. I think we both kind of went to ourselves like, oh my god, he's so cool and he's so tall. He was like taller than I ever oh, shit, could have imagined. Tall. Yeah. Bird's profile photo. Or I could see his profile pictures, but none of them were like good. And one was just like the back of his head in a sunset, like that kind of bullshit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. When I met him, it was just a different guy, and I was like, oh shit, did I get the wrong person? So that was a little jarring, but he ended up being better than the guy I saw. Thank you. That's the bird's motto, better than the guy you saw. Now, here's the thing, is that um, the Scoville system is bullshit. It's bullshit, oh. they just make it up, because like... So this one is what, two million Scovilles? No way this is two million times spicier than a thousandth, a thousandth of a jalapeno. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Because this is a lab grown pepper. Ah! Mm. Um, pepper X peppers are... They don't sound nice. real, that's for sure. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm not excited for this one either. Okay, I did it down. It's, it's there. Guys. You don't get to say shit about it. And yeah. It, yeah. All right, oh, boys. God. I'm terrified. You'll be fine. One of the last question, huh? Well, this is actually a special challenge, so I'm going to invite you guys to take the bite. Well, 
I think they designed this one so it's like kind of spicy in your mouth, <laughs> but it's not that like it's not spicy in your tummy. I feel but like I got hustled by birds. Mm -hmm. Like, come on. <laughs> This is not spicy. The previous one was more this spicy. This is not spicy. All right, boys. So to take us out as you three struggles. struggle through the last dab, I have a little bit of a challenge mm. for birds He's and for bones. You all right? Yeah. Okay. He's like, oh, there's not a tummy. Okay. It's a tummy one. It got hotter. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. All right, hit me with this challenge. Okay, so the challenge is birds and bones here, both musically inclined gentlemen. True fact. I'm going to need <coughs> you birds on the spot to just make up a beat. Bones down at the table there to uh, freestyle rap through the pain. <laughs> Two hundred episodes, I record them all. Every day, crucible, I kill them all. Swaying birds and bones, watching the throne. Bro, I stole that from my other son, but I don't care. This is the most pain I've been in in a long time. But now, it's not gonna stop me from rhyming. I got all exotic weapons on all of the slots. All exotic gear. Uh, every day, crucible, repeat what I said. But I'm really in a lot of pain. I think I might be dead. <laughs> Go straight in my head. I'm gonna be dead. Fuck Gordon Ramsay. Fuck, fuck, fuck Gordon Ramsay. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. He's a bitch. Just this hurt him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck, fuck, fuck Gordon Ramsay. He's a bitch. Oh shit. I'm gonna be dead. I play Destiny every day. If you didn't know that, what are you doing here anyway? <laughs> Just for bird, just do a magic trick. All right, no problem, no problem. So I'm gonna need a couple cards. Um, let's use a queen, a five, Damn. another queen, then um, a three. So these cards are gonna be what we call our uh, our anchor cards, right? You're gonna use these to help focus in. I feel like Swain is not really paying attention. I know, yeah. Okay, so Swain, would you describe yourself as a lucky person? Okay, lucky guy. Well, let's find out. Um, so we've got a black card and a red card. And I want you to focus on this top card here. Just tell me, don't even think about it. Is it black or is it red? Red. Red? Well, that's a calibration card, right? Oh, sure. Put that Put that on top of the this one. All right, this next one, what do you think it is? Black or red? Red. Red? Okay, and then this one? Let's go through it real quick, real quick. Red. Okay. All right, so at our halfway point here, um, we're gonna place these down. Now these are not face cards, these are not as strong of anchors, but this is when the luck really comes in. I want you to do it again, tell me, what do we got, black or red? Red. Red. Okay, so here's the thing. If you just guess randomly, that'd be what? 50-50? You think about half of these, right? All right, let's see how, uh, how Swain did. So these are all, these are all black cards, right? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, oh, Swain. Swain, I'm, I'm worried. Oh, no, buddy. Oh, no. Wow, you, you got him perfectly wrong across the... All right, so these, these, these also... I, I hope you did. you did. Okay, okay, you did all right. Th wow. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. I think what we take away is that Swain has got some kind of superpower, but, um... Not quite as uh, as predictable. As we thought. <sighs> How did he do it, folks? How did he How do did it? He do it? <laughs> wow! You somehow you somehow managed to bat exactly fifty percent. Well done. You did <laughs> it. Good job, Swain. I did it. <laughs> How are you guys feeling? I feel pretty good. Yeah. I kind of want. Feel like shit. Can we get some more wings? Can we do another round? Yeah, absolutely. Um, bring out the next round of wings. They're spicier, right? Uh, how are you guys doing? How would you, how would you describe it?
my intake of water. Like, not that much bread. The chocolate is pretty good. But just drinking water is the best thing that helps temporarily. So you just drink more. Ah! So now I've gone through like six glasses of water and I feel full and awful. But my mouth hurts. If I had to say what was tastiest, it was 100% this. Rank them. Yeah. Let's do the rank them in gold blooms. <laughs> this, this is the top for sure. This one, way at the fucking end. Oh, that, that was awesome. This one, I want to put in the middle because you know what? It tasted good at first and then it sucked. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's only the experience of you're in pain. The zombie like hurts your mouth. This one, I'm gonna put on this end because it didn't like, it didn't really taste all that much. Yeah. This guy here, and then this guy, I don't know. I don't like just regular old ones. So for me, this is where it's at. Yeah, I think the um, I think in terms of like you want a spicy sauce but still with good flavor on stuff. I think that's this one. The, f the just delicious flavor is this one. Ah, I thought they were pretty good. <laughs> Talking hurts more than anything. The hot air from my yeah. voice hurts. <laughs> the surface that's burning. I feel it is a cooling uh, effect. Everything's chilly. I feel like you're an asshole. Well, no. <sighs> Let me enjoy this. <laughs> This uh. question comes from your patron, Keen Koala. Keen Kowalski. He asks, what are the host's future <clears throat> plans for when the podcast inevitably runs its course? Well, I don't know how we're going to do it. If so this is the heads up to patrons, and then we do it on the show. Is, the larger world is going to see this, guys. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, why would yeah. we sit on this? Yeah. <laughs> let, let it out there. Every week for 200 weeks, you've received a podcast from... Swain Birds and Bones. That's true. And that will not change after the last episode of Crucible Radio. You, you'll still get an episode. You'll still get something. Yep. Um, we're committed to delivering what we think is interesting to us, I think. Yeah. And there's plenty of things in my life that I won't uh, go down a bad addiction, <laughs> like a habit trail, um, that I would love to talk about for like an hour every week. Yeah, and to people that care about hearing, hearing me talk about something. I think the, the thing that's important to me is that we've... Oh. I think from, like, <coughs> talking about first impressions when we first that's met awesome. each other. Yeah. <laughs> I think the only yeah, thing we knew for certain was that we wanted to make a show that we personally wanted to listen to. And um, I don't think anything about that's going to change. It just might not be about the Crucible. The reason we knew we were never going to walk away from this is because of the people who watch it, right? The people who listen, because of our patrons, because of everyone that we... Mostly because, like, I flew out to do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not like, gonna... That says a lot about, like, friendship. Yeah. That we grew from this. That you hate us? Fucking And you hate yourself? <laughs> this is goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I, got I think we all have ideas for what what shows we'd like to make if we didn't have to talk about the Twab each week. I'd love to hear what they think. Cause yeah. that's like- that's I think the that's the main thing. one. I think when people send me messages and saying, hey, I like this other thing that you talked about, that tells me that we're onto a good thing. So please keep doing that. Swain, you make an excellent wing. Oh, thank you. Makes me <laughs> uh, There's more if you want. Yeah, if you yeah. want some. Yeah, yeah. Right. Something to eat, right? So are we just gonna eat it and then like? I thought yeah. that was milk. Yeah. It was half and half. Are we? Are we rolling? What? He, he, he was drinking half and half. <laughs> that Cheers. Was... Cheers. Is it running? You guys rolling? <laughs> oh no! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we have any drinks? I don't like it. I don't like it. I think I do. I'm such a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like such a bitch for not eating the whole thing. Ow. One. My body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. Really? I like it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I eat good. myself. Is something happening? Yeah. It's like tingly. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want another one? Yeah.